Hey YouTube, this is T-Page coming at you with an update and a, another haul video. Alright, so this is um, these are a few things that I've sold this past week. And I have to do better because I really am striving to make a lot more money than this. But I'm grateful for what I have done so far. So anyway, here we go. Um, the Starbucks uh, Miami Barista Skyline Series. Um, hello. Here we go. Hold on. It's my son's phone. iPhone or iPhone. Okay, here we go. All right, it's sold. I bought it for I think a dollar fifty or a dollar and fifteen. Anyway, it wasn't over a dollar and fifty cents, and I sold it for twenty four ninety nine with eleven twenty five shipping. The cross uh, body coach bag. The and it's actually vintage, and I showed you in a previous video where I purchased it for a dollar and fifty cents, and I asked the ladies, "Are you all sure y'all want to sell this for a dollar and fifty cents?" I put it on uh, night before last, and it sold yesterday morning for forty dollars, or should I say thirty nine ninety nine? The Clark's England leather driver shoes. Um, you can't really tell what they look like, but if you look at the previous video, you can tell. All right, those sold for twenty seven ninety nine. The Kenneth Cole Tribeca sold for twenty five. The Dance Cole sold for thirty six. And remember, I said none of these shoes that I purchased were over five dollars, except for the Dance Cole shoes. So I paid ten for the Dance Cole. They sold for thirty six. So my profit is about twenty after fees and everything. Okay. The Clark's Bendables. I don't know how I sold those for twelve ninety nine. I'm still baffled by that because as soon as I put it on, they sold right away. So I was like, did I do instead of twenty two ninety nine? I did twelve ninety nine apparently. So, anyways, uh, gotta be careful when you're trying to go fast. All right, the Starbucks State of Being mug. I bought for about a dollar and fifty. Sold it for $26.60. Born shoes I got for about $4. Sold for $31.51. This is such a learning lesson, you guys. Um, the J. Crew handbag, I think I got that for 2 or $3. And I sent it around, I know, three or four times, and it didn't sell. So I just brought the price way down so I could get it out of my inventory. So at least I kind of doubled my money on it. Well, not really after fees, but... It's out of my inventory. Lesson learned. I'm not getting a bag like that again. I don't think. Alright. Um, and then the last one for this month so far is $18.99. And I bought uh, those. I think I got those for 3 bucks. I'm sure I got those for 3 bucks at the same thrift store that I went to for the coach bag. Alright. So really quickly. Enough of that. All right, these are the things that I got uh, today at thrifting. All right, you can't hardly see these. Anyway, aerosol shoes, running through them quickly. Some guest men's shoes. Um, let's see if you can see those a little bit better when I do that. Yeah, and I got some more born shoes. I need, it's not going to show a flash. Oh, well. But, all right, so these born shoes, I'm going to bring them over here towards the light because it's nighttime, so it's pretty dark in here. All right, those, they look pretty good on the bottom. These I thought were so cute, you guys. Look at these. Okay, you probably can see them better, yeah, like this. But anyways, um, Indigo Clark shoes. And look at the bottom, even though I know no one cares about the bottom, but, and they're like, such new condition is ridiculous. Okay, five dollars. All right, hopefully, I'll be able to sell those for at least like 30, 25, 30 bucks because they're like new. These are some Merrill. Merrill, where is it? I don't even know. Yeah, Merrill sandals. I saw these selling used for like 50 bucks. So I'm at least going to shoot for like 35 on those. 
Um, these are soft walk shoes. Again, the ones that I told you to look for, they are, um, they look like, or they feel like you're walking on like a air mattress. They're very nice. Okay. Then here's the more born shoes. Let's see if you can see that whole shoe. Kind of like moccasins they look like. Mm, look at the soles of them. All right. And can you see born? Can you see the word born in them? Okay, anyway. All right. Another pair born just like those. But these are light brown. All right. These are the Tribeca shoes that I need to ship. And that's the mug that I have to ship. And those are my new coffee mugs. All right. Those I got for 99 All of these I got for like between $0.75 cents and $0.99. Cents. These are some awesome boots, you guys. I love these boots. They have the little heart right there. The lighting is horrible right now. I'm so sorry. But anyways, um, those are BCBG Maxaria. Okay. This right here is something I've never seen before. It's a um, Kipling bag. I don't know. I'm going to try it. This TMX Elmo. I'm going to tell you, I used to sell Elmos a lot. And then when that little scandalous thing happened, um, they're not selling too well right now. <laughs> so, But I still have a habit of getting them um, because this one it was in really good condition. It's a TMX. And you usually could get about 15 bucks at least for them, but now you can't. I got this Spanish lesson here. Um, it was half off of $4. And that little rose was only like a dollar. And I'm going to just attach that to like a black shirt or cream or something like that. Oh, Lord, I'm going over again. Okay, here we go really quickly. We got a Lauren by Ralph Lauren sweater. Okay, hopefully that does well. I don't know. Then we have a nice little, let's see, nice little Brooks Brothers blazer. Alrighty. And it has like, um, sorry you guys, the gold buttons on the sleeves, the gold buttons here. I would say that might be vintage. I don't know. Okay, so then we have a Charter Club Extra Large jacket with a little leather trim thought that was cute i think um those items are like six dollars each the jackets but these are back to like four dollars and 92 cents uh j crew sweater another j crew sweater it's purple i don't know if that's a man or woman i think it's a woman's and then i got a wool rich sweater i'm gonna try this because it's actually new with tags I didn't even know they I don't know. see that Woolrich new with tags that's a large okay that's all people I'm so sorry to keep you so long eight long minutes and I hope you all found this video helpful a little at least um oh and I saw these guest shoes here they were selling for like 50 bucks so like I said, I'm going to at least try to get $35, $40. And what my goal is, is to um, make at least $15 to $20 off of every item. That way I know I'll be a little bit more secure. And if anybody has any suggestions about other things that we could sell um, at a higher profit margin, I'd appreciate it. I know they'll be cutting into your money. But um, hopefully the demand will just increase instead. So anyway... Um, I love to share with you guys. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.